Hello, my name is Keshwani. That's K E S H W A N I, Keshwani. We are here because we want to prepare for the SAT. We have been solving SAT math problems out of this book here, the official SAT study guide, the second edition. If you do not own this book already, purchase one immediately. You're going to need it. This is the only source where you're going to find real exams. This book contains 10 exams. The problem that I'm about to solve is the one that you will find on page number 399. Today is our lesson number 12. Let's take a look at it. Problem number 13 is what I'm doing, what I'm about to do. The first problem in the, in the, in the second column. The first term of the sequence is 1. Alright, the first term of the sequence is 1. So far so good, I can handle that. If each term after the first term is the product of negative 2 and the preceding term, okay? Each term after the first term, each term after the first term, obviously because they're giving you the first term, is the product of negative 2 and the preceding term. Preceding term means the term that comes before it. Question simply is, what's the sixth term? Well, that's pretty straightforward. Let's label them. One, two, three, four, five, and six. We'll figure it out. The first term is one. The next term is negative two times the preceding term, the term that came before it. So it's negative two times the term that came before it, which was one. So that's the negative two. This term, the third term, these are the terms. Perhaps I should I'll do better than that, not to confuse anybody. These are the number of terms that are there, and I'm going to put it, put them in Roman numeral. One, two, three, four, five, and six. The third term is going to be negative two times the term that came before it. Negative two times the preceding term, which is negative two. So then negative times negative is positive, we get positive four. The one after that is going to be negative two times the positive four. It's always negative 2 times the preceding term. That's what it says. It says each term after the first term, this first term is 1. First term was 1. Each term after the first term is the product of negative 2 and the preceding term. Don't worry about the fact that I had this uncontrollable urge to put the, put the parentheses around it. I like it that way. I prefer it that way because putting the parentheses around it makes it more conspicuous. It's easy to see it. Conspicuous. I do not know if we ever learned this word. I don't know if we should qualify that as a, as a, as a vocabulary word. Conspicuous simply means that it's easy to see. It's easy to notice. I'm not going to go there right now because I don't know if I covered it. And secondly, I do not know how to spell the bloody thing. So we won't go there right now. So it makes it very easy to notice by putting the process around it that it is in fact negative. So that we don't, so that we don't miss, we miss the negative sign. So the preceding term was positive 4, so we have negative 2 times positive 4, which is negative 8. This term, the fifth term, is going to be negative 2 times the preceding term, which is negative 8. Negative times negative is positive, 16. And finally, the last term, the sixth term that we're looking for, the sixth term that we're looking for is going to be the term that came before it, times negative 2. So negative 2 times the one before it, which is positive 16. Negative 32 is our answer. Oh no. Negative 32 is our answer. Answer is E. That's all. The answer is E. That's all there is. It's not a difficult question, but you will get it wrong if you do not take your time. Make sure you slow down. Make sure you understand the directions properly. And just take your time. That's all it is. It's just a matter of taking your time. It's not a difficult problem, as I said. But still, a lot of people get it wrong. Not because they don't understand it. But, but, but because they are in too much of a hurry. Always take your time to read the question properly and then take your time to actually solve it properly. Do you understand? Of course you do. I will see you tomorrow on day number 13. Alright?